Hello everybody. This video is about ventricular system of the human brain. So um, in a brain we have um, spaces uh, filled with cerebrospinal fluid and this fluid filled spaces we call ventricles. So we have total four ventricles. Two ventricles called lateral ventricles. So this is one lateral ventricle and here's another lateral ventricle. Um, so ventricle number three, the third ventricle is right here. So that's at uh, the third ventricle. And then we have one more ventricle. I'm going to turn this model so you can see this structure over here. This is the fourth ventricle. Now lateral ventricles, they located in a cerebrum. So they located in both right and left cerebral hemispheres. So again, this is our lateral ventricles. So we have two of them, one and two. Now the third ventricle is located in diencephalon. So it's right between two thalami. So it will be one thalamus on one side and one thalamus on another side of the third ventricle. Now the fourth ventricle over here is located between pons, medulla and cerebellum. So it's a posterior to pons and medulla and it's anterior to cerebellum. Now, um, something else you need to know about lateral ventricles. Uh, lateral ventricles have horns. So this is called anterior horn. This is called posterior horn. And this is called inferior horn. Um, now, if you can see on this model, we have this pink structure. Let me show it to you, like over here, for example. Or we have pink structure on this side. Actually, this pink structure is found on a roof of each ventricle. And this structure is called choroid plexus. And choroid plexus is a network of capillaries and ependymal cells, and they participate in the production of cerebrospinal fluid. So cerebrospinal fluid circulates through these ventricles and then enter um, subarachnoid space right, to cover the brain and the spinal cord. So that's why these ventricles, they need to be interconnected. And lateral ventricles connected to the third ventricle through this structure over here that is called interventricular foramen. So that this structure over here is called interventricular foramen. Now, um, the third ventricle connected to the fourth ventricle through this tube-like structure that is called cerebral aqueduct. So cerebral aqueduct is located inside the midbrain. And now from the fourth ventricle, we have opening. We have um, opening over here and over here. Those are, um, those are called lateral aperture. And one opening right here that is called uh, medial aperture and cerebrospinal fluid um, Enter subarachnoid space through these three apertures. Uh, some of the cerebral spinal fluids will uh, flow from the fourth ventricle to the central canal uh, of the spinal cord. Uh, and the last structure that we want to know about um, this uh, ventricular system is um, this hole in the middle. And uh, this is actually where two thalami connect, and it's called intermediate mass or interthalamic adhesion. Okay, so make sure you watch this video to prepare for your lab exam. Good luck.